Hey everybody, this is uh, Mark with Flatwoods Bee Farm. Um, thought I'd shoot a quick little video today. I'm out uh, checking colonies, really not going in them, but uh, checking for dead outs, just like any other beekeeper is. Um, just so you know what I'm doing, how I'm, how I'm actually checking. Um, what I do is I I walk up to the colony and just watch the landing board um, to see what's what the bees are doing. If you see bees bringing back pollen, uh, and, and <laughs> right now a lot of pollen, um, or po any pollen whatsoever, nine times out of ten, the queen the you got a laying queen, you got a uh, colony that's alive. So that's basically what I'm doing. I'm not opening the boxes. Or, well, I am opening the top, but I'm not pulling any frames out to look for anything. I'm just looking at the landing board, seeing if, uh, <clears throat> if the bees are bringing back pollen. That's a pretty good sign. You got a laying queen in there. Um, sorry for my voice. I think I'm getting sick. Anyway, for the, um, just to get, up, get everybody up to speed, we're in Locust, North Carolina. It's in the Southern Piedmont of North Carolina. Today is uh, January the 15th. We have had so far here 15 straight days in January above normal temperatures. We've actually hit, been above 70 degrees several times in those 15 days. Um, and uh, nighttime lows not even getting out of the 60s. For the first 15 days of January here in North Carolina where I live, that's crazy. You know, that's way, that's way uh, above normal. We've actually got red maples blooming now um, Which should, in my opinion, you know, it's early. I started to say shouldn't be happening <laughs> Nature knows what to do um, But you know, but anyway got a lot of stuff going on right now that typically doesn't happen this time of year so uh, The bees are reacting to it. Uh, the red maples are blooming and uh, I got dogs barking back here behind me. I had to make sure he's not gonna, not gonna rip my, rip my britches off. <laughs> but anyway, uh, they're reacting to it, bringing in pollen. Red maple's producing a lot of pollen right now. We've got hembit and dead nettle in full bloom here too, which produces a lot of nectar and pollen. Well, when the colonies start bringing back that much stuff, the queen will react to it too. Um, this is a, to me, my opinion, remember every, all, the, all these videos are in my opinion. This, uh, they'll really start brooding up. Um, to me it's a little early for that, but their natural instinct tells them to do that. So, uh, uh, they're really brooding up. I mean, I don't know that for a fact because I'm not going to go in this box, but because of what I do know and what I, what I, what I know queens do, when a lot of pollen starts coming in in the spring or late winter or winter uh, they'll react to it by brooding up okay now what I'm going to do now is show you what brooding up means okay and what could potentially happen when they brood up the forecast for next week is for highs to do good to get out of the 30s okay and lows at night down in the lower 20s. Um, now remember, first 15 days of January, we've been above normal, 60s, 70s, every day. And, and plants are producing pollen, the colonies are reacting to it, and now next week, we're gonna bottom out. We're gonna go back to winter time, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna, on the side of this box here, I wanna kinda show you what happens when they brood up and I'm going to show you what happens when it gets cold and they've brewed it up. So I'll shoot another video here in just one second. Okay, we're going to pretend on the side of this box. I didn't know how else to do it. You know, I didn't decide to do this until I got out here. But typically in the wintertime, you know, the cluster in a colony um, will be something like this. Okay, you know, small cluster of bees. And, they'll, and, and hopefully they'll stay in cluster because the temperatures won't motivate them to do much of anything. 
when they stay in clusters, they don't eat a lot. Well, when they come out of cluster and start doing what they're doing right now, let me show you what they're doing right now. They're flying. They're bringing back resources, okay? The colony is in active mode. See all that pollen? It's January the 15th, it's crazy. But anyway, when they get active, well, when they're just like us, when they work more, they need to eat more. So they start consuming stores in these colonies, okay? Well, also, you know, I, tell, I told you, I said the queen will start brooding up. Well, what will happen is your brood nest will start getting bigger, okay? And get bigger. Well, she goes crazy laying. She says in her head, oh, my gosh, spring's here. We're going to got to get some bees, okay? Well, this warm weather happened suddenly. The pollen started coming suddenly, okay? And she started expanding this brood chamber, all right? Laying eggs, they're hatching, larva, they're capping, they're capping it, you know, the whole routine. Well, look, think about your bee math. It takes 21 days for a worker bee to hatch, right? Okay. Well, for 21 days, you still have the same number of bees in this colony, mature adult bees, okay? But you've got all this extra brood that needs to be kept warm, all right? Well, like I said, suddenly, next week, we're getting cold. Well, what happens? What I think is going to happen, since you got the same population in this colony, okay, as when she started brooding up, they're going to keep this brood right here warm, okay? Because they don't have any extra bees. They had not hatched yet. They still got the same workforce. So they don't have extra people to do, keep stuff warm. All this brood out here, whether it's eggs, larva, cap brood, cap brood, which is in a pupal stage, that will become what's called chilled brood. It'll die, okay? Now, after all this cold weather's gone, warm weather comes back, the colony starts getting more active, all this chilled brood, whether it's in the larval stage or the pupal stage, has to be removed, okay? That's why sometimes in late January, early February, you'll come out to your hives, and you'll see all this pupa, you know, dead bee, dead pupil bees laying all over the front of the colony early in the morning. That's what happened. You got chill brood, okay? And uh, they're, they're trying to clean all that dead stuff out. And typically you'll see that early in the morning, you know, because uh, later on over in the day, uh, they'll, they'll pick it up, fly off with it, or birds will actually come and eat it. But uh, a lot of new beekeepers see that and they go into a panic mode. It's like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Well, that's all that's happened. Your queen started laying, started brooding up, you know, before the colony could cover all that brood. And the brood got chilled and died. And all they're doing is carrying it out. And I thoroughly anticipate that's what's gonna happen over the course of the next couple of weeks since uh, we've got this real warm weather. We're gonna get real cold. Um, the, the colony has not really had time to get bigger in numbers yet. So they're not gonna be able to cover all that brood. So that's what's gonna happen. So don't panic when you see the pupa dragged out and laying on the landing board um, because that's what happens. So anyway, I just thought I'd kind of explain that. And uh, you know, uh, this weather's been great. Just, you know, we've got a lot of resources coming into the colonies. Um, but, but you know, with sometimes with really good stuff, you'll you'll have some bad stuff happen. Um, so we'll we'll lose some brood uh, to it. And out here, you know, a lot of you you know, watch some of the videos about the dry sugar feeding or mountain camp feeding that I do. Here's what they do with the newspaper. They'll drag it out of the colony and uh, just kind of throw it around with litter bugs. So let's go over here and I'll actually show you what it looks like when the colony is, uh, is really eating a lot of the sugar. This one is. <coughs> so that's what they're doing. Um, See how the 
as they, as they breathe and the humidity comes up through the colony and that newspaper gets wet and they can eat through it and then the, uh, the sugar absorbs the moisture and uh, to a form that they can they can eat that um, it's pretty amazing I love it you know just insurance on the colony so anyway hope you enjoyed the video um, I just thought I would shoot something because I know what's coming and I know a lot of people will panic about the uh, chilled brood but it's just a natural process okay all right well if you like the video like it subscribe to the channel tell your friends share it um, we enjoy making them and if you got any comments leave them down in the comments below all right hope y'all having a great day I know I am